everyone, uh, I'm Nyx and welcome to my first tattoo vlog. <laughs> so it is currently the day before, the night before, um, I get a tattoo. It's things like nine o'clock, just had a shower, getting ready for bed. And um, yeah, I am incredibly excited. It's my first tattoo, so obviously I'm a little bit nervous. Um, my tattoo artist sent me over a design for it today and I love it. I've got a couple of adjustments for it, obviously. But other than that, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's a tattoo artist that I've admired for quite a while. And yeah, I've got a three hour drive down in the morning. I think we're leaving at quarter past seven. So I've got to be bright and early. I've got everything ready I need for the day. My mum's looking after Podge. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. And I will take you with me tomorrow. See you in the morning. Hello everyone. Um, it's currently quarter to seven in the morning. I have been up for a little bit, uh, just you know, getting up for my wash and everything. We're leaving in half an hour. Uh, still need to get dressed, obviously. And I find it funny that the biggest emotion I'm currently feeling is sadness because I'm not going to be with Podge all day. <laughs> so the tattoo that I'm getting actually signifies so much for me. Like every single little part of the design has a really, really intricate background to it. And um, because I've been going through a lot with my health and everything, it was really important to me that I got it done by the right person. So I decided to travel three hours down to Southampton. We're off. We are quickly popping to co-op to get some breakfast and lunch. Gotta love a good old co-op meal deal. Lies, pure, pure lies. While I was on my way down, I received a lovely text from my father. Yeah. So this was about an hour and a half into our journey. And let's just say it was a really good job we changed over the windscreen wipers beforehand. Oh, and also apparently we have an oil leak. Yeah, who knew? We're going to the services. So, uh, it got worse. Yep, it got just a little bit worse. We just went into a lay-by because um, this fell off our roof um, and it was much bumpier and deeper than we thought. And it made big bangs and the car started steaming. It looks okay, but it was terrifying. Oh my God. <laughs> like, look at them bumps. Okay. So I think it's about 10.30, uh, we've just arrived, parked the car, and now we're going to eat some food uh, in the taxi parlour and just kind of chill, chill up for a bit. So everyone there was really, really lovely. My tattoo artist was the absolute best. Sadly, I didn't actually record myself getting it because I was absolutely terrified. I think it took about three hours and here's the final result. Apparently I sat like a carcass. So I have not got it. It was cheaper than I thought it would be, so I'm very happy. It wasn't as painful as I thought either. It was actually not too bad. Uh, but we're gonna go and get some cookie butter and some aftercare stuff. Southampton is so much nicer than I thought. Like, I, I, I didn't, I, so nice, so nice. Uh, so we have gone to Asda. We found a whole bunch of goodies in Asda, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we're now gonna try to get some bubble tea. We are all done now, bubble tea achieved. And yeah, so we're gonna head back home. Uh, it'll take us another three hours to get home. But yeah, I really enjoyed the tattoo. It was actually, I think I enjoyed it more than I probably should have um, because I find it really satisfying. It's quite a comforting feeling, apart from when it was like on the bone or when she was doing the shading. Uh, but I really, I really enjoyed it and I definitely want to get more because it was just, it was really nice. Oh my God, it's an MX-5. We're just looking at the tattoo and realised that my tattoo artist actually missed something. So I've got three runes on my arm and the bottom two don't have the line going through them. Oopsie daisy! So I've had to take off my the cling film on the tattoo uh, because you're only meant to have it on for an hour and we've been in the car for like two hours already. Um, but I need to give the services to go to the loo so I'm having to brave the cold. Also, I do get a free touch up so it's not the end of the world that she missed it. It's all fine, don't worry. <laughs> After that windy... Windy expedition, windy and cold expedition. I got some chips and some 
little popcorn chicken as well to keep us going for the rest of the trip. Also, you know I mentioned we went over big bumps. Um, the number plate is now like a U shape. <laughs> other than that, we seem fine. We're a little bit more rattly than we were before, but other than that, we just have a bit of a bumpy number plate. This is Nyx after she's been editing all day. Ignore how I look, it is fine. Um, yeah, I lied. Well, I didn't lie. I was speaking to the best of my ability. The car is very much broken. It hasn't been on the road for three weeks now. The prop shaft fell off about an hour after I said that. And uh, it's going to be completely replaced. And we cannot find a replacement one anywhere. We've looked all over eBay. We've asked people. Um, we currently have like an advert in like the Hillman Owners Club magazine going, please help us. We can't find a prop shaft. And if no one can find one for us, then we're going to have to make, get one custom made. So hopefully someone helps us. It is now 10 to 6 and we're like 10 minutes from home. So we're probably going to get back at 6, which means we've been traveling all out for almost 12 hours, which is crazy. So it is now like 10 o'clock at night. So I had a bit of a cry because my mum wasn't expecting it to be quite as big as it is. Um, so she got a bit shocked by how big it is and wasn't overly pleased. And my dad hasn't even seen it yet. And someone I know died today as well. So I was a bit upset. And I'm just going to do give it a quick wash. It feels very nice and I'm really happy with it. Like, look how cool it is. I then put some Moana on, had my supper and went to sleep. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.